hello guys and welcome back to the channel so now guys the debasement of the nigerian state has entered this final stanza as the country continues to plummet into further and further lower depths so the depths that we have now plummeted to now is a school ground type name calling by senior politicians guys i bring you this drama in senate as adeyemi calls abia governor a drunkard so this is now the level that uh, we have uh, degenerated to within the nigerian space where senior politicians are now abusing each other's mother in the public square effectively as the hollowed uh, senate chambers has now been turned into show the market as a uh, senator adeyemi throws missives in the direction of abia state governor again the headline drama in senate as adeyemi calls abia governor a drunkard so now let's now see what has led to this there was mild drama at the senate plenary on tuesday as senator smart adeyemi representing kogi west deviated from chambers rules whilst contributing to a motion on the urgent need for the restoration and revalidation of the safe school initiative in nigeria adeyemi after making his contribution in support of the motion changed the topic as he described abia state governor okezi ekweazu as a drunkard the chairman of the senate committee on aviation who was apparently responding to a social media post linked to the senate minority leader senator Eyenaya abaribe who is from abia state allegedly insulting kogi state governor yaya Bello, said abia state people are unfortunate to be governed by a champagne drinking governor adeyemi whilst commending some governors in their fight against insecurity however urged them to do all they can because nigeria is such a large nation that the federal government alone cannot police all the schools he said some governors are doing their best in tackling insecurity we are lucky to have a governor who has taken the issue of security as a serious priority we are bordered by nine states but we had an experience of the unfortunate incidents that are happening in neighboring states some governors are committed to the protection of their people in my state the governor awarded contracts for the renovation of schools and provides security services for them in some states in nigeria today we have highly intelligent people highly educated people very enterprising people unlike in abia state they are governed by drunkards the governor of abia state is a champagne drinking man abia people are impoverished more than ever before abia people are unfortunate intervening the senate president dr ahmed lawan cautioned the lawmaker against using abusive language reacting senate minority leader abaribe denied making the statement adeyemi referred to abaribe expressed shock over adeyemi's drunkard comment and urged him to apologize to governor okozi apazu he said mr president i would like to make a clarification unfortunately what has happened here today is one of the problems that you see on social media i never made any comments on the governor of kogi state never what has happened is what we are seeing on today people write something and tag your name to it and if you don't ask question you would not know whether actually it was said or not and i see so many things tagged to me that i don't talk the last time i saw nehu ribadu i also spoke to him something was tagged to his name that was very deleterious i am very surprised that my good friend and colleague decided to open up on the governor of abia state for something i never said so there you have it ladies and gentlemen and just a bit of background to this uh, so-called smart adeyemi if there was ever an unfortunate name that was the error that the parents of this character made at his birth because he's anything and everything 
other than smart but then of course this smart adeyemi was the person that was gifted um dino melaya's seat in kogi west because of course a lot of you will recall that uh dino melaya was the senator for kogi west and he then won his seat again only for him then to have been uh, removed by uh, Buhari's uh, eye neck and be replaced now by this APC stalwart, uh, so-called smart, or let's call him Dom Adeyemi. So Dom Adeyemi is uh, living up to his name, of course. I mean, absolute crass ludicrousness. But then, of course, it's not surprising in a space like Nigeria because, of course, uh, anything goes. So a motor park tout uh, senator is now showing his uh, true colors in the hallowed chambers of the Nigerias, uh, of the Nigerian rather foremost uh, house, really, because the foremost house should be the Senate House and not the presidency, but certainly the top two houses. And this element now that they will be calling a distinguished senator uh, that has done nothing at all to distinguish himself, name calling and uh, school ground, playground, juvenile abuse uh, in the uh, Senate chambers is really what uh, we're seeing here. But then, of course, I am holding no truck for the uh, Abia state governor, of course, a plague on his house as well. But really, in all things, uh, gentlemanly conduct first. If we cannot be civilized as a baseline of our functioning, then we degenerate to the debasement of our instinctual uh, living. So, so reverting to a state of nature, sort of like a way of being is really what we're seeing now where the strong overwhelm the, the, the weak and physicality holds supreme and juvenile playground abuse is the language of the senator chambers conversations in the comment section uh what are you making of it the agueros have taken over the uh, uh senate chambers but then of course look at the senate leader who is uh, blaming Fulani headsmen on our uh, Yoruba people. So really the fish rots from the head and this is really what we're saying. What says you come share thoughts? But before you come into the comment section to engage, click on the red subscribe button so it turns gray. The bell button notifies you every time I drop a new video. Click on like as well because that helps with the YouTube algorithm. Once you've done all the clickings, the uh as uh, uh, this supposed and apparent uh, hallowed chambers of the Nigerian Senate has now turned into Ojota Moto Park. So uh, if you are going to uh, Ota, enter that bus and if you are going to Ilone, enter this bus. This is now what is going on in the Senate. So I'll leave you here. Carry this conversation on with you in the comment section. But here, I say, peace.